So we've got the Huawei smartwatch here today on the Tech Review channel. And I'm going to open it up and give you a quick unboxing first. But we've got uh, the full review up on the notebookcheck.com website. The translation's just being done for the English website. But I can tell you it's got an Editor's Choice Award. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you some information about the screen brightness, the battery life, and all the important things that you need to know about the Huawei smartwatch. So let's just give you a quick uh, unboxing here because it's quite a nice experience. As you'd expect with a, a premium device starting at 399 and going up to over a thousand euros. There it is. I'm just going to uh, take away the case there. And that's a stainless steel case. We've got the leather band there. So this is the entry level one at uh, 399 uh, euros. I'm just going to show you the uh, charging pad. I've already taken that out of the device. And obviously I've already primed the watch. I've paired that with the... Uh, Actually a tablet, not a phone at this stage. Um, let's just open that up and I'm just going to put that on the stand for you so you can see exactly how it uh, charges. So it charges that way around and that's obviously a USB charger there. So let me just tell you a little bit about the steel here. It's a stainless steel um, 316L type stainless steel. It's actually uh, nickel free. So if you've got allergies, uh, allergy issues with some stainless steel then um, this is nickel free. It's also water resistant up to one meter. We've got the leather band version here and this whole unit as I said 399. There's the charging point, there's the uh, pulse sensor there on the back. So there it is on my wrist, that's 11.4 millimeters thick and looking actually quite thick on my wrist. Obviously I've primed this, there is the, um, what is that, the thing? that's a maritime watch face there but you've got some options that I'll show you in a minute. We tested another armband on this. This is a standard 18 millimeter fit and it's fairly easy just to take the armband off like that. Inside this you've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor. We've got 512 megs of RAM and four gigs of uh, storage there where there's um, about two and a half gigs free. So we've got five different brightness settings on here and level four and up, oh that's level four to level five, is good enough for outdoor uh, usage. 3, 2, 1, obviously for indoor usage. So maximum brightness on the screen is 326 uh, nits and the AMOLED screen has a pixel density of 282 dpi. The watch we have here is uh, model 4DA2 and it's running Android Wear 1302. There's a 300 milliamp hour battery on this, which is uh, slightly smaller than that on the Asus ZenWatch 2, but slightly bigger than the 250 milliamp hours on the Samsung Gear S2. In terms of battery life, uh, we had it on Wi-Fi and um, always on screen with the maximum brightness set to uh, level 4 all day. And at the end of the day, we still had 27% uh, battery life left. So uh, given use of Bluetooth rather than Wi-Fi, and uh, careful use of the system, two days uh, battery life should be achievable. Using the touch display is nice and swift, the sapphire uh, crystal glass is also waterproof. When it gets wet you can't uh, operate it obviously via the uh, touch screen, but everything seems to be quite swift and, uh, and usable and enjoyable as well. Pros and cons with your Huawei watch, good design with high quality materials and it's uh, very nicely built. That uh, watch strap is easy to, to remove if you want to change it. Pulse sensor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.1 on board and a good display. Uh, in terms of battery life, well it's average battery life and if you're using Wi-Fi on this that's going to impact your battery life as well. There's no ambient light sensor on this so you're setting the brightness yourself uh, to one of those five settings. So an Editor's Choice Award for the Huawei Watch, their first smartwatch, and it seems to be a pretty good effort. Price ranges from 399 all the way up to over a thousand euros, depending on the choices of casing and straps that you want for it. Good battery life, good screen brightness, and uh, overall a little bit more uh, style than maybe the uh, ZenWatch. But remember, uh, the ZenWatch doesn't differ much from this in terms of specifications and what's going on inside. So if you're looking for maybe just a, a technical solution, then maybe the Asus is a better choice. Don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe. You'll get notifications as we put videos up. And in some cases, that'll be before the English uh, version of the full review is up on our website. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.